Ecclesiastes, the third chapter. We're going to begin at that first verse. For everything there is a season, a time for every activity under heaven, a time to be born and a time to die, a time to plant and a time to harvest, a time to kill and a time to heal, a time to tear down and a time to build up, a time to cry and a time to laugh, a time to grieve and a time to dance, a time to scatter stones and a time to gather stones, a time to embrace and a time to turn away, a time to search and a time to quit searching, a time to keep and a time to throw away, a time to tear and a time to mend, a time to be quiet and a time to speak, a time to love and a time to hate, a time for war and a time for peace. Amen. We're going to speak a few moments from this subject. We'll get through these changing times. We'll get through these changing times. Here is Solomon, the wisest man that ever lived that asked God for wisdom instead of riches. He wanted to know how to go in and out before God's people. And God gave him that wisdom. He gave him not only wisdom, but he gave him riches because he was, his main focus was not to be rich, not to be famous, but he wanted to be wise. He wanted to be wise so that he can help God's people live a practical life, a life of wisdom that he had so much wisdom to share that other kings from other nations would come and bring gifts and gold and all types of expensive things to Solomon. Even Queen Sheba came and she had heard about his great wisdom and how wise he was. And she said, the half have not been told about your wisdom. Solomon had a lot of wisdom, but he also had a lot of flaws. He had some weaknesses. Some of his advice he really didn't heed to, but somewhere down the line he was still able to write to the people of God to say, don't make the same mistakes that I made. Don't, don't get into this because if you do this, this will happen. But if you do that, that will happen. He gave us wisdom. He gave us wisdom for practical living. And he talked and he wrote the book of Proverbs. He wrote the book of Ecclesiastes. He wrote the books of Songs of Solomon. He had a lot of wisdom. And he wrote in this third chapter of Ecclesiastes, was talking about how things change. They're forever changing. That this life is like a cycle. It never stays the same. You're never in the same season. You, you won't ever stay in a permanent time. And every, every season has a purpose. There's an activity for everything. And we find ourselves in life... That, that life is a season of cycles, ever changing, never staying the same. Nothing is permanent but God and his word. And Solomon was saying you got to be able to adjust to the changes. you got to be able to adjust to the times and the seasons of your life. Not the natural seasons, but to the seasons of life. We've got to learn how to adapt when we're in good seasons and when we're in bad seasons. And we have to realize that where I am right now, I won't be here forever. That even though you you may find yourself going through a dark season right now. You got to prepare yourself to be coming out. And you got to, while you're in it, you got to deal with it. You got to adjust. You got to be like a transformer. You got to break down and adapt to the situation that you're in. And Solomon was giving some practical wisdom for living. He was saying that, 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 that there's a time to die. There's a time to laugh. There's a time to mourn. He covered everything of life of, that we go through in life. Every season and every time that we go in in life. He said, it's just a time for it. And just because it's just a time for it, that means I got to learn how to deal with where I am right now. Where I am right now may not be a good place, but I've got to say, I'm in it right now, so I'm going to make the best of a bad situation. You've got to tell yourself, you've got to encourage yourself when you're in a bad season that I'm going to get through these changing times. So, so you have to do psychological warfare on your own self because sometimes 
sometimes you can talk yourself into depression. Sometimes you can talk yourself into sickness. Sometimes you can talk yourself into worration. Sometimes you can talk yourself into frustration. If you don't guard your mind, he said, guard your mind above all things because out of it flows the issues of life. You may be going through a rough season right now, but baby, I come to tell you that this thing getting ready to change. You just got to walk in your season and deal with what you're dealing with because after a while you'll be able to look behind you and see where you was and what you're headed to. You may be crying right now, but there's going to come a day of laughter. You may be sad right now, but joy is on the way. You might be broke right now, but prosperity is in the horizon. You got to understand and look at the seasons of the time, even in life, that after winter comes spring. After winter, you see things starting to bud. You see blossoms coming on the tree, knowing that after the blossoms comes the harvest. See, in life, you got to know that, and you got to preach to yourself. Sometimes we wait on people to encourage us and tell us that everything is going to be all right. But I'm learning, Bishop, to tell myself that. I went to a Chinese restaurant, and I found a fortune cookie. So you got to be able to look inside some of the strangest things to get some encouragement. And the, and the, and the fortune in the cookie said, you're headed in the right direction. So what I did was, I put that on my wall. It's right by my calendar. And every time I walk out of the room, I look at it. You're headed in the right direction. It may not seem like I'm headed in the right direction, but I'm encouraging myself that I'm going to get through these changing times. I understand that this thing is not permanent. I understand that this is a season that I'm in. And after a while, things going to turn. After a while, the sun going to begin to shine. After a while, things going to begin to look better. I may be on a rocky road right now, but I'm going to get on a smooth path after a while because the steps of a good man and a good woman are ordered by the Lord. And the Bible says to acknowledge God in all our ways and he will direct our path. I come to tell somebody tonight that you're going to get through these changing times. What you are going through right now is just seasonal. This thing is seasonal right now. It's got to run its course. But while it's running its course, you run the course. You got to be like the Apostle Paul. I fought a good fight. I finished my course. You got to be able to tell yourself, I'm coming through. I don't want to get out of it. If I get out of it, I won't learn nothing. If God, you bring me out, I won't have no wisdom. But God, if you take me through it and I keep my mind stayed on you, I'm going to get some wisdom from this thing. We're going to get through these changing times. Life is ever changing. And seasons is not predicated on months, but it's predicated on minutes. Because for one minute you could be doing good, and the next minute you can be doing bad. You got to learn how to shift in the moment. You got to learn how to say, yeah, you get up in the morning, going to work, everything fine. By 12 o'clock, your world could be turned upside down. But when my world turns upside down, I'm just going to turn upside down with it. And I'm going to hold on until things level out. I may be sad when I get up, but by the time I get home, I'm going to find something to make myself laugh. I'm going to find something to make myself joyful. We are getting through these changing times. Solomon really wrote that everything that balances out, everything balances out. He says it's a time to be, to be quiet and it's a time to speak. There's a balance in life. And we've got to find the balance. we got to be able to get in a place where we can balance ourselves. When it gets hard on this end, slide down here a little bit. you got to learn how to balance. When it gets hard on that end, slide down here a little bit. you got to find the balance in your season. If we can find the balance in our season, we can endure the process. If we don't get weary in well-doing, the Bible says we'll reap if we don't faint. I come to tell you tonight, You somebody said tonight, I don't know how I'm going to get through this. Just keep walking with God. Just keep trusting God. Hold on to the word of God and keep on keeping the course because you're just about to change seasons. Things just about to change seasons. See, seasons don't happen back to back bad, bad. There's a bad time and there's a good time. There's a slow time and there's a fast time. God said to tell you tonight that you're going to get through these changing times. Life seasons come. 
sometimes you're in a barren season. Seems like you can't get nothing going for you. But don't get discouraged in your barren time. Got to be like the widow woman. She was in a barren season. She had a little bit of flour and a little bit of oil. She said, I'm going to make this cake. We're going to eat it and die. But this, see, her, her mindset was, whatever happens, happen. I'm just going to keep on keeping on. It's in the time of trying to go through the season, we stop. And we get stuck and get messed up. But you got to be able to go through the barren season. Just like you dance in the prosperity time, you still got to dance when it's barren. <laughs> when you're going through your times of trouble, you still got to be joyful. See, folk are looking for people to make them happy. But you got to make yourself happy. Quit trying to wait on somebody. Oh, I want somebody to make me happy. If you can't make them happy, because they ain't happy with themselves. When they make that statement, I want somebody to make me happy, they got trouble even making themselves happy. You will never be able to do it. You will wear yourself out. Then you will be depressed. But see, I'm looking for some joy that cause no, no matter what happens, I still got the great victory. I still got joy. If I don't have, I got joy. If I'm in between, I got joy. When I'm prosperous, it's prosperous, I got joy. We gonna get through this thing. See, it's the mindset. Solomon always talked about having the right mindset. You got to look at things as they are and deal with them by faith. That's what gets us through. That's why the writer said, now faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. I got to have faith in my darkest time, in my lowest place in life. I still got to believe that God is going to turn things in my favor. And even when I'm going through it, I still got to say, God, I know you're getting ready to do something. See, no matter if your seasons are good or bad, the apostle Paul says it's working for your good. He said, and this we know. You got to know it first. If you don't know it, you can't speak it. See, when you know it, you say, well, I've been here before. Knowing that, knowing is backed up by experience. Experience tell you that I was in trouble last week this time, and God brought me out. I was in a season of difficulty last month, and God brought me out. I know this, that it's working for my good. God orchestrates everything. He orchestrates everything going on in our life. And it's how we perceive it. How we deal with it is going to determine how we come out. That's why there are some folk, they're crying in every season. As long as everything is good, they're joyous. But when trouble comes, they're crying. They don't know why God doing this. It's the devil. It's people. And sometimes it's just life. Life sometimes, life is never said to be fair. God never said that this life was going to be fair. He just said he'll be with us in what we're going through. He always told us to make the best of a bad situation. He said, count it all joy when you fall into diverse temptations, knowing that the trying of your faith, that go that word again, knowing, you got to know that whatever you're encountering and whatever you're going through, you got to know that you know that you know God is in control. We got to know it. Then the Hebrew writer says, don't cast away your courage. In God, which have great recompense of reward. He said, but you have need of patience. That means you got to endure the process. You got to endure the season and the time that we're in. We can't get discouraged when God ain't moving when we want him to move. Sometimes we want to go through trouble two days and God says it's going to be two weeks. And you got to be able to endure. God is only making us in the trouble. How else will we be made if we don't encounter trouble? See, there's a gospel that's being preached that we don't supposed to suffer. They say that's the old people's religion. That's them way back days. But the Bible said all that live God in Christ Jesus shall suffer persecution. 
Peter said, think it not strange concerning the fiery trials which come to try you as though something strange as has happened to you. Peter said, but rejoice knowing that you are partakers in Christ's suffering. There's a, this is a suffering way. This is not, we're not down here just to get what we can get from God and have no trouble. Jesus said, if you want to be my disciple, you want to follow me, you got to pick up your cross. You got to die when you pick it up. Can't be crying because you're carrying it. It's too heavy. It's too big. You got to carry that thing straight on through, and you got to have joy. You got to let people see in you that you're glad to be going through. That's why Paul could say, I want to know him in the fellowship of his suffering and in the resurrection of his power. Must Jesus bear the cross alone and all the world go free? There's a season of trouble. There's a season of prosperity. There's a season of good health. There's a season of death. There's a season of life. There's a season of loss and there's a season of gain. you got to know that you're going to get through these changing times. Doesn't matter what state we're in. Whatever you lost, God said, I'll give it back to you. That's the season. There's a season of loss where you lose stuff. You lose cars, jobs, friends, family. But God said, I'll restore unto you the years that the locals have eaten. God said, I'm going to give you back what you lost, but you got to go through the season. How else will we be able to shout the victory if we have not had any losses? Sometimes God will allow us to lose things, go through a season of loss, so that he can, we can enjoy restoration. Because we got to encourage somebody. seasons of trouble. We got to have the same mind that we have in the time of joy and in the good times. That comes with me and me dying. Dying from our flesh. See, flesh ain't always about sex. Sometimes flesh could be pride. Not wanting to go through thinking I'm entitled to be blessed because I had a hard life growing up. Who haven't had a hard life growing up? Who haven't had some troubles in their life? Just because we say that don't exempt us from trouble. I got the Holy Ghost and you're going to have trouble. I can speak in tongues, you're going to have trouble. I'm a pastor, I'm going to have trouble. You can sing and teach, you're going to have some trouble. That's just life. Life is designed and to come in cycles and seasons. And no matter what we face, we got to understand that when we, if you're low, get ready, God get ready to bring you up. If you're up, you better prepare yourself. The Bible says, prepare for war in a time of peace. If everything going good, I hope you have prepared. Because trouble is on the horizon. There's something getting ready to come that's going to cause us to have to be in an uncomfortable situation. An, a, a, an uncomfortable season is coming. But you've got to tell yourself, I'm going to make it through what I'm going through. Because I don't believe that God brought me this far to leave me. I don't just believe that he brought me through all of that hard life and getting over here and drop me when trouble comes. I know who he is. I know his character. He have never let me down. He's never failed me. He's always seen me through. And I know we're going to make it through these changing times. No matter what state you're in, you may be in a state of mourning. Get ready to laugh. Because God is a deliverer. Nothing that we face in this life is permanent. It's temporary. It's a tem thank, thank God. Amen. Thank God that it's... Can you imagine suffering every day, all day for years? Some people say, I've been suffering from year for years. That's a lie. That's a lie. You've been suffering for years. Your mind been telling you you've been suffering for years. But God done gave you some relief. Somewhere down the line, God, that God is not that kind of a God that he'll allow you to suffer every day of your life since you was 12. That's not, who, and not, not serving God and you suffering like that. You may be in the middle of seasons of many suffering, but there have been many joys too. Because I tell you what, some people have been through so much they done committed suicide. Can you imagine going through trouble every day of your life? You'll jump off a bridge and end it. 
Because there's only so much we can handle. God always gives us breaks. He don't just push trouble, let trouble overtake us. That's not what he does. But he gives us the strength to go through, to deal with it. Some things we're just holding on to. And we don't want to turn it loose. And we say, I've been suffering. I've been going through it. Uh, me and my mama can't never get along. If you just hard, unharden your heart and yield and give up, things will be a whole lot. There's a lot of stuff we don't just, we holding on to. It ain't God. The season of joy doesn't come. Because this, uh, this is one thing I know. And if you've been suffering for all these years, when them checks start rolling, you be steady shopping. It ain't stopping from shopping. We go through seasons, but even in those seasons, sometimes can be really hard, but we can make it through with the help of the Lord. If it had not been for the Lord on our side, where would we be? I don't know who you are tonight. You may be searching for peace, but the Bible says, keep on knocking. Keep on seeking and asking, and you're going to find it. There's a part that we have to play. We have to participate in God's deliverance in our life. We can't sit there crying all day. Got to get up sometime and say, I got to change my attitude. I'm going to put on my best when I ain't got nothing. I might not have but a quarter tank of gas, but I'm going to ride through a nice neighborhood and claim a house. I'm, I'm, I'm going to do something, I, some kind of way I got to be transformed by the renewing of my mind. Whatever it takes for you to get yourself up, you got to get yourself up. You got to help yourself make it through the changing times. Anytime you see anybody that will not get up, they have determined in their mind that this is it. I'm giving up, I'm tired of struggling, I'm tired of fighting. But God will never leave us in a hole. He'll never leave us pressed up against the wall. He'll never let the life just overwhelm us and we are in him. He would not do that. He didn't do it when we were sinners. We got up, shook ourselves off, got dressed, hit the club. Might not have a dime in your pocket, somebody going to buy you a drink. You can bomb a few cigarettes. Somebody's going to buy you something to eat. Now, why don't we get over here and shut down? Ain't nobody came to see about me. I'm going through. They can't look and tell I'm going through. Tell somebody you're going through. Tell somebody you need some help. Tell somebody you're low on money. Somebody will help you you got to do to get through the changing time. But Solomon said there's a time and a season for everything. So we can't despise the troubling times. We just got to get ourselves right, find the balance in that trouble, and just ride the wave, as they say. Because after a while, things going to begin to change. It's been 97 degrees for the last two, three months. Now, the weather's changing. If we can just look at that, if God know how to change the weather, how much more he can change our season? And we go through more changes than the weather. Because sometimes we wake up skipping and hopping. Some moments we wake up, we don't want to talk to nobody. Then we want to laugh with everybody. Then we want to hear nobody. We go through so many different changes in, a, in 24 hours. But in the changes of life, Solomon was saying, in other words, there's going to come a time when things going to be topsy-turvy. When there's going to be times when things are smooth. You just got to ride it out and make it through. Because what you are experiencing is not permanent. You're just in a season right now. I don't know who you are tonight. You may be going through some changing time. And you say, Lord, I need some strength. I need, a, I need a change of mind about how I'm looking at what I'm going through. Why don't you come now for prayer? To change your mindset. We all got to change our mindset. Job said, man that is born of a woman. Have but of a few days, but they're full of trouble. But he didn't say that you could make it. Job said, all the days of my appointed time. There's an appointed time for you to come through. 
there's an appointed time. You're going to make it through these changing times. But you got to hold on to the Lord. You got to trust God. You got to talk to God. You got to pray. You got to get before him and give yourself over to God and cast your care upon him. That's how we make it through the changing time. We trust in the Lord with all our heart. And we don't lean to our own understanding. Because a lot of times our understanding is messed up. All we see is the trouble. We don't see that there's a way out. We don't see that God is going to fix it. We have to be transformed by the renewing of our mind. Every head bow. Father, we thank you tonight. For Lord, you have orchestrated our lives. You have set every season in its place. Everything that we go through, God, you've given us the remedy to deal with it. Every problem, you've given us a word. You've given us a solution to every situation of our life. We know that there are going to be some troubling times. That we're going to face some down times. Some difficult days going to lie ahead. But Lord, we come now before you asking you, God, to, for strength. Asking you to touch our minds. That we won't focus on our down times and our bad seasons. But we'll realize that, God, this is came to make us. That you came, God, to strengthen us through the suffering, through the trials, through the trouble. And some may seem like it's been a long time I've been going through. But God, touch our minds tonight to realize that there is a change coming. Oh, God, we want to thank you. Anoint us, God, to go through. Anoint us to wait on you, God. Anoint us to trust you and endure the season. God, we thank you, Lord, for where you brought us from. We thank you for where we even where we are right now. When we thought we couldn't make it, God, you've given us the strength to even to continue. We thank you for being our keeper. We thank you for sustaining us through the rough seasons of our life. You have brought us out many, many times. God, we have experienced many victories and many deliverances. We thank you. We give you the glory for it, God. We thank you tonight. And you're the same yesterday. Today and forevermore, you are a God that changes not. Our seasons change, but God, you don't change. You are still a healer. You are still a deliverer. You are still a provider. God, we, you are still our savior. We thank you for that. Help us to endure the seasons and the time. God, we ask you to give us strength in our minds. God, we ask you to help us to encourage ourselves in your word. And in past deliverance, help us to look back on our life and see where you have brought us from. We give you the glory tonight. We thank you now, God. We ask you that the anointing would even come right now and fall fresh on us at this altar. Give us a renewing, God. A renewing in our mind and in our spirit that we're going to make it. We decree and declare the victory tonight in our lives and in our season that we're going to make it through whatever season that we're in, we're going to make it through. God, we thank you, God. 